Hi, this is Chris from Build Five Nines. Let's take a look at creating an Azure IoT Hub from the Azure Portal. I'm going to go ahead and click Create a Resource there on the Azure Portal homepage, and then on the section on the left in the categories, we'll click on Internet of Things, and then we'll choose IoT Hub as the resource we want to create. And we do need to specify a resource group, so I'm going to just create a new resource group in this case. And in the Azure region, we want this IoT Hub to reside within. I'm just going to scroll up here and choose Japan East. You can choose any of the 61 Azure regions, or time goes by, they'll be adding more regions. And then for the IoT Hub service, we need to specify the name. Give it a unique name. This needs to be a globally unique name for all customers using IoT Hub since it's used as part of the DNS name for the service endpoint. Then we can choose the pricing tier, so standard, basic, or free tier. So if you're using it for development, test purposes, you can even choose the free tier, and then you don't have to pay for a smaller amount of usage. We're going to go ahead and pick standard as that's the standard tier that you would use for production environments. And then specify the anticipated number of daily messages. Just leave that as the default here since we don't have a solution that we really know what messages there will be. And then Azure Security Center, uh, we'll leave it on as the default to turn on Azure Security Center for IoT. And then it's going to show us our estimated pricing information, standard S1 IoT Hub unit, 400,000 messages per day throughput, approximately $25 per month. And then we can click Advanced Settings and specify the number of device to cloud partitions. This defaults to two. We could go down to one or we could increase this um, as we need to scale the service. Those are the basic settings you need to configure. We'll go ahead and click Review and Create. It's giving us a summary of what we're going to provision as well as this estimated cost per month. That's all right with us. We want to get this service created so we can start building our IoT solution. So we'll go ahead and click Create. And it's going to go and provision the service. Now that our IoT Hub has been provisioned, we can go click the Go to Resource button here to go see it. So you can see the IoT Hub has been provisioned. It's in that Japan East region that we chose. We can see in the right here the host name. We have the name of our service, .azure-devices.net, as that DNS endpoint for our service endpoint for our devices to communicate with. And then the pricing tier is the standard S1 tier and just one IoT Hub unit. Now we could start using the service. One thing that we would need is to use shared access policies to give some keys to manage the service. And then we will also have our device provisioning being done for individual devices. So if we go down here to IoT devices, we can go in here in the portal and start adding new devices connected to the service. Normally with an IoT solution, you'll use the device provisioning service or DPS. Now to look at the pricing and the scale, this is where we can change the pricing tier. So if you want to change from standard to standard S1 or S2, S3, we could do so to be able to scale that way by changing the tier. And then we could also change the number of IoT Hub units to scale up the number of units as well. Now we've created an IoT Hub, we can start building our IoT solution. I hope you found this useful, and I will see you in the next video.